Ted, you're an asshole. Never change. What's up, you guys? So, welcome back to another video. <laughs> Not downtown. I had this idea. A lot of people read like mean comments and comments from their YouTube channel. I figure I'd take it back some time and read the comments from my yearbooks. See what people were saying about me 20 years ago. <laughs> Start with middle school. I did have an elementary school yearbook, but that is totally gone. So we're gonna take this back all the way to 1991. Uh, let's see. A lot of them say, have a cool summer, cool summer, chill out, have a great summer. Okay, this one's a little weird. It says, Ted, I'm really sorry that I've never been with you, but you aren't my type. Well, I hope you have a great summer and find someone your type. Well, I'll see you next year, later, Amy. Okay, remind you, this is 1991. I'm, uh, I think this is sixth grade, right? Sixth grade. Ted, well, I don't know you, but you're pretty cool, I guess. Have a cool summer and don't try. And I don't know what some of this says, but it just says, uh, towards the end it says, uh, something, something, anybody, or or get them pregnant, you're too young. This is sixth grade. What the fuck? I'm surprised my parents didn't read these comments. Ted, I love you. Psych. I wonder if you guys know what psych means. Because psych means like, ah, oh, just kidding. Yeah. Okay, I've, I've, I've never had a girlfriend. So this comment doesn't really make sense to me. Ted, I hope you have a cool summer. I'm glad we became good friends after we broke up. I hope I see you next year. Love you. Lynette. Henry. It says after we broke up. Right. I don't I don't ever remember having a girlfriend. I mean unless people were like taking it differently. I'm gonna look at a picture real quick because I don't remember what she looks like. There's Lynette for you. I don't remember us. I don't remember having a girlfriend, so. Now let's go to seventh grade. Ted. Oh wow. Ted, you're so fucking dumb. Well, I hope I don't have to see you next year. Don't keep in touch. Dumbass. Hey, tit. What's up? Me? Not much. Well, does Jack have a girlfriend or not? Well, see you next year. Nicole. So Jack was like my only friend when I was a kid. He, uh, he lived down the street from me. And he would be the only person we would ever talk to, hang out with, play with, uh, go on little bike adventures with until we got to high school. We actually went to the same high school because he was the only person I knew. And that was my freshman year and he was like a junior or something like that. And he didn't, he kind of like dissed us I think because like he was in the older grade. But then I ended up making my own friends and I lost touch with him. Now the eighth grade, we're at the top of our class. Ted, I am the first one to sign it. Anyways, hope you have a cool time at Lincoln. Sucks. That's what they wrote. They put Lincoln and then sucks. Like your mom. <clears throat> Ted, had an awesome six years. Make sure you go to all the football games against Pioneer. Late. Leonardo. Leonardo. He actually lives here in Vegas now. I met up with him when I first moved here, and then we never got back together for a drink or anything. But he, he was my good friend throughout like middle school and then I ended up going from Lincoln to Pioneer and uh, staying friends with him through high school when I was there but then uh, yeah he actually lives here in Vegas and we only hung out like one time but I think he's like married now or something people uh, a lot of people they just 
when you're younger, you have all these friends. In high school, you have all these friends. But as soon as you get out of high school, you kind of lose touch with everybody. And you have this small group of friends. Ted, so what's up? Well, not much here. Well, it's been really nice knowing you. I hope we can meet sometime soon in the future. We have to go. Angelica. K-I-T. So the K-I-T, I'm not sure if they still do these in yearbooks. But that means keep in touch. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. I mean, it's been 20 years. <laughs> Teddy Bear, for three years, you have been the sweetest guy I've ever known. I will always remember you. Do the same. Love you. Daniela. I want to say the key words there was, I will always remember you. And there's a phone number. Sorry, the mailbox is full and there is not enough space to leave a message. Well, Danielle, I guess we'll never know. Ted, hi. So what's up? Well, you're cute and sweet guy. Hope you stay that way. Have a great and go out there and break a lot of girls' hearts. Carla. I've been single my whole life. Went on a few dates since I've been in Vegas. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm not breaking girls' hearts. Freshman year in high school. Ted, you are a really sweet guy. I hope to see you next year. Don't give up on love. 20 years later, I gave up on love. I really did. Fuck that loose whore, and I'm not going to say her name. It's a girl who took my virginity, basically. <laughs> I didn't know she had a boyfriend. Uh, yeah, that was drama. I got punked in high school because of her a couple times. She was a senior, and uh, she hooked up with me. And yeah, next thing you know, I had people calling my house, threatening me. I had been punked in high school because I didn't know she had a boyfriend, and I had a person who I thought was a friend back then who ended up being like the boyfriend's cousin so it was a big drama thing I ended up transferring that's why I transferred it was because uh, I don't know it was kind of stressful in high school because you you deal with you know trying to fit in I guess Ted I wish you didn't get out of Spanish class because I would have liked to get to know you better too bad I'm not going to summer school we should go somewhere this summer. Love always, Natalie. Ted, you better match to all kinds of hoes. <laughs> and you better also get laid so you can tell us stories. From Rudy. Well, Rudy, I got seven stories to tell you. Ted, hope you don't come back next year. Just kidding. I know you are. Oh, wait, I know you're not. I know you are not. But that don't mean not to keep in touch, you little bitch. I always wanted to do this just for the hell of it. He punched me right there in the arm. Uh, you're a homie, Rick. So there's these three guys, right? The Fernandez brothers. There's Rick, there's Hector, and there's Brian. And pretty much they, uh, <clears throat> they had my back my freshman year in high school. They're all cool guys. Um, hopefully they're doing well. I, uh, I don't keep in touch with anybody in high school, but those three guys pretty much had my back, and I'll probably never forget that. What's up? Well, it was nice knowing you, although you've been a jerk before. Just kidding. Well, have a great summer. Jessica. So, I guess there's different sides of me, and I'm pretty sure that still goes on till today, where I believe I'm a nice guy, but... If you're irritating or if you do things that I don't like as far as like getting on my nerves for no reason or just constantly saying the same thing over or asking the same questions over and over, I can be a jerk. Ted, well, sorry for all the mean things I did to you. Well, bye. I'm the first one to sign this page. Cool. It was cool in Spanish while you were there. Don't break too many hearts during the summer. Keep up with sports because you can become rich and famous. I can say I knew you. Ted, you're an asshole. Never change. Anna, 
Anna. Fuck you. Sophomore year. So this is a different school. I changed schools. Went from Lincoln to Pioneer. Well, you better get your grades up if you want to wrestle next year so I can pin you. Rob. Alright, Rob. I weigh 300 pounds now. What's up, my orange growing saline friend? It was nice getting to know you and your closet. Just kidding. This year, sorry things didn't work out with you and... You now, Anna, Lauren, Stephanie, Diane, or Erica, or yeah, it's Erica, and everybody else. Just kidding. But hopefully, you find someone, Danette. Hmm. You're a great friend, and I know I'll see you next year. We have had many funny times Denny's, the picnic, Yogurt Delight, the limo, Halloween, your house, my house, New Year's, and so many more. I can't remember. Thanks for all the abuse and harassment. I know it's going to take a while for you to read all this, considering you can't read. It's taking me a minute. Just kidding. Stay sweet, and maybe you'll find someone, you big booty. P.S. Watch out for those orange drive-bys. So, yeah, my sophomore year in high school, I had a job at McDonald's. And uh, it was at Oak Ridge Mall. And every time I would walk home, it happened like four or five times. The same red van would pass me. And every time they would pass me, they would throw oranges at me. One time, <laughs> I remember one, okay. I remember one time, I had two bags of food walking home, all happy that I had hella food from McDonald's. And that red van passes by. They throw oranges and it freaking hits me. I remember getting so pissed. I was like, Dad, ah! And I threw the food up in the air and all the food came down. Hey, Teddy, what's up? Well, it's been great knowing you and your fine body. We'll hope to see you next year. You better keep in touch with me over the summer because I am very interested. Christy. Ted, well, I hope you enjoyed your visit at Pioneer. Watch out for. White guys, red vans, and oranges. You never know what might happen. Your pal, Letitia. Letitia was cool. I don't know what happened to her. Alright guys, so that's the end of the yearbook's comments. Uh, I didn't read all of them. I read some of them. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit me with a comment. Let's, uh, let's talk about something. Alright. I gotta go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.